So welcome to this math booster where we answer the question, why are the higher temperature curves higher up? So if you look at this PV graph, oh, I think my P is missing, pressure against volume. If you notice, the 300 Kelvin curve, or what we call an isotherm curve, iso means same, therm means temperature, kind of. So same thermal temperature. So all along this line, you have the same temperature every point. But then, when you increase the temperature to 500 Kelvin, the curve shifts up. The question is, why? Now, there's another name. You know this called. Have you heard of what we call the reciprocal graph? So this shape is based on what we call a reciprocal function. And we're going to learn a little bit about that in today's Math Booster. So a reciprocal function follows the shape or the pattern of generally like this, y equals to 1 over x. y is the y-axis, x is the x-axis. So if you think about this, this thing, uh, the reciprocal function has a, a, a multiplier on top. I can change this to a. And what this multiplier does is, ooh, kind of missing my thing. This multiplier will affect how big the curve is. So how big or how high up this curve would be. But let me show you an animation about what this reciprocal graph is like. So this is Desmos, where you can plot all kinds of graphs. But let's start off with the reciprocal y equals to 1 over x. There. So shapes generally like this, they are what we call asymptotes. Horizontal here and vertically means the graph will never touch it, although it's very close and pretty much almost on it. But those are what we call asymptotes. So what happens if I do 2 over x? Well, hard to be, a bit hard to see the difference. Let's focus more on this side. Lah, or just on one side of the graph. So I'm going to change the, the numerator to a, uh, some constant a that ranges from 0 to 10. Oops, 10. Okay, so you see uh, what happens when I change this 1 over x because a is 1. If I go 2 over x, notice what happens to the curve. It goes up. Oh, so that means... This is how reciprocal graphs change when you change the, the constant, which is on top of the x, Okay, the numerator. Keep that in mind. We'll come back to this in a little bit. So that's how reciprocal functions behave. But how does that relate to this temperature thing? Huh? Okay, so number one, know how a reciprocal function looks like. And number two, our ideal gas equation is PV equals to nRT, right? or nkt, depending on which variation. If you want to plot a graph of p against v, I would rearrange this into an equation p equals to nrt over v. So for each function that I draw, nr and t will be constants. And that is what I could call my a constant. So this would be pressure proportional to 1 over v. This is the reciprocal pattern y equals to 1 over x, or proportional to 1 over x. But in this case, I'll just combine all the constants and say this is just a over v. Ah, so going back to the, the, the animation just now, I can say maybe this one is, you know, pv, this is 100, whatever this, all the constants multiplied together get a value of 100, maybe. And if I compare that with something larger, a larger temperature, for example, 300, over x there then you would see how this reciprocal curve behaves the lower one is lower temperature the higher one is a higher temperature because the numerator is what causes this graph to get bigger and stretch outwards okay so i mean you can do out the whole thing now but we ignore the negative part okay if you want to increase this up to 500 well can 5000 go some more it gets further and further away from this origin Gonna stretch up in the upwards direction. So that is the answer why higher temperature curves are higher up and these are the behaviors of isotherms which are reciprocal functions or inverse functions or y proportional to inverse law kind of thing. Okay so that's all for this video. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next one.